Kia ora YouTubers, my name is Dan and this video here is one of the free ones that I give away as part of my larger course. So if you are keen and you do enjoy it, uh, check out, there'll be a link in the description. Uh, but for now, let's uh, go off and look at the free stuff. Hi, my name is Dan and in this video we're going to look at centering. We'll look at centering both uh, images and uh, text and we're going to do this uh, horizontally. So uh, let's put on our image, so I'm going to click inside our column. Okay, and um, that's our nested column. Okay, um, and we're going to go to insert image. I'm going to nest it inside of it. And I'm going to go back to my desktop, find my Dreamweaver exercise files, go to images, and I'm going to use icon one print. Click open. Okay, it puts in my image. Great. So there's two things I need to do before I worry about centering. Okay, we looked at it a little earlier. And um, if you remember, it was alt text. Okay. So we need this for Google and for people that are using screen readers that are visually impaired. And this one's going to be called, um, what was this one? This one's going to be printing services. Print design icon. Okay, and then the other thing was, remember the responsive one. We can either click it by adding a class or we can hit this little um, menu here and click make responsive and great it means it will adjust its size to fit with the different browser sizes so and um, next thing we're going to do is center it to do it there's a special class okay bootstrap have made for us so whenever you're thinking of creating your own class especially at the beginning you're going to have to go back to bootstrap quite regularly to see whether they've got a pre-made one for you okay now so if i switch out to google and i go to getbootstrap.com this is the home page remember for and uh, bootstrap i can go to css and i can have a little look uh, down here to see whether say images okay have any um helpful little classes that i can use there's some helper classes um, what i like to do is do a search for the page so uh, command f and do center okay there's some text centered okay if i go down responsive images there's a centered image and you can see that there's this one called center block now I know that because I've had a search for it before and used it and when you're new you'll have to keep going back to bootstrap just to get yourself a little bit more aware of what classes are out there you can do it in CSS there's no problem with that you could kind of find the elements do it in regular old CSS but there's all these like lovely little helper classes that bootstrap have already made and the nice thing about them is often say like this responsive one there's lots of protective code for, uh, say, it potentially wouldn't work in a really old version of Internet Explorer, and I've got workarounds to fix it. So I want this one called Center Block. Now, if I go back to Dreamweaver and I add a class called Dot Center Block, okay, and it's going to center my image within its column. Lovely. Now, for the text down the bottom here, I'm going to click down the bottom in this column. I'm going to go to Insert Paragraph. Okay, I'm going to nest it inside there, and there's my P, P tag. Okay, which is my paragraph tag, which is just body text. And this one here is going to be capital print. Great. And click out. Now we saw a second ago in Bootstrap, there is a centering class for that one as well. So I'm going to apply it to it called dot center. I know it was called text hyphen center. Lovely. Great. So we've applied a couple of Bootstrap classes that are pre-made for us without having to create our own one. And what that just means is that we're relying on Bootstrap a great that they've already done it worked out all the bugs but also my main.css is staying pretty damn tidy okay there's not too much on here it's nothing crazy with all these different classes you've had to make so i've been getting you to add the classes manually so you can see here we added text uh, text hyphen center just so that you get used to using bootstrap and kind of figuring out what the classes are called there are some helpers though in dreamweaver and i guess as dreamweaver matures in its relationship with bootstrap it'll get a little bit better at working with it now there are some awesome easy ones if i undo uh, my text center one here so there's a little attributes menu this little three slider thing you can see here i've got some bits in here you can see under bootstrap it's got that one it's got that particular one it's got a line center okay and if i click on the image and i use that little drop down one there is a bootstrap and there is no uh, bootstrap centered for the image yet but i imagine as the version grows up and gets more features it'll have those types of things in there great so that's how you center an image using the center block and to do it with text using text center great see you in the next video hey there 
Remember, this video is a free extract from my course of more than 60 videos. So if you're serious about learning Dreamweaver, check out the link down below. If you like this free thing, give it a like, give it a share. I'd be really appreciative. Thanks. Hi, da da.